Hey guys, something very interesting has been discovered today, and it's really interesting because this fell under everybody's radar. 343 are apparently collaborating with Sprung Studios, and these guys specialize in UX, UI designs, and it seems like we're going to see a bunch of their work come to Halo Infinite in future updates, most likely Season 6 and then beyond. The crazy thing here is that this was announced back in October 2023, and I saw nobody talk about this or even highlight this until now. Here is what Sprung Studios said about 343 and Halo Infinite. We are thrilled to be collaborating with 343 Industries to bring our specialized UX UI expertise to Halo Infinite. Stay tuned to see our work unfolding and future updates of the game. My first thought is that in Season 5 we had a few UI updates in terms of the main menu and also the experience. The actual UI itself didn't really undergo any big changes, besides the placement of a couple different things like the challenges, the news tab, and a few updates to the store. I guess the most notable difference is the new backgrounds we've had since Season 5 released. However, from what I'm gathering here, we are going to see more more updates come to the UI in Halo Infinite, and I'm expecting some pretty big changes. I do still see so many Halo fans say that Halo Infinite's UI sucks, and I have to say it could be so much better. One thing I really hate about the UI is the horizontal scrolling, especially in the armor hall trying to customize your Spartan. You have to scroll all the way to one side and then back again just to see all of your items. I'm really crossing my fingers that Sprung Studios will take a page out of Halo Reach's book, because as I'm sure you all know, Halo Reach's UI is probably the best we've ever had, and I think we need that type of UI style back in a Halo game. I can't even overstate how big a UI change will be for the game in terms of making it feel fresh, and if the UI works well and it looks good, that will really entice players to return to the game. I've seen so many Halo fans today say that Halo Infinite's UI needs updating, and I'm really hoping Sprung Studios can be the guys to fix it and turn it into something that feels more like Halo Reach's UI, because then we'll be looking good. That might also pave the way for the match composer to come to the game, as well as things like pre- post-game lobbies. Those are things we really need in Halo Infinite to make the game feel even better, and who knows, if we get a big enough UI change, that might be possible. I really want to know your thoughts in the comments below, guys. I really can't believe we all missed this. I guess there was a lot going on at the time back in October last year. We had Season 5, the Halo 3 refill playlist, Firefight, there really was a ton of stuff going on, but this news has gotten me quite excited for the future. Very quickly, I want to thank you all for 40,000 subs. I won't keep you here longer than I have already, but trust me when I say you've all blown me away with all the support you've shown me over the past couple of years. It means the world, it really does. Now let's push on to 50,000 subs, and I reckon we'll get there pretty darn soon. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one.